Minnesota. I work in research at uh, Mayo, and um, we decided to travel down here for to check out the eclipse. It's the first one that she's ever seen, and the first one since I was a kid that I've seen. So. never see it again and I understand the next one in the country is 2044 but not here so hey it's once in a lifetime for us and sure. I got the last seat on this flight, the last one. And I got a window seat and I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm doing this. This is one, the, the, I don't know when, when I'm gonna be able to do it again, but I said, you know, I gotta do it. And I booked it and I'm here. I'm just here trying to make a cool memory with my son because he's about to become a teenager and I feel like in a few years he'll be too cool to hang out with me. But uh, I'm expecting um, for the plane to turn up so we can actually get a good view of the eclipse. So I hope that happens. I don't know, it's cool. It happens with like regularity. Um, the math on it's really crazy. Like the fact that the moon just so happens to be the right proportions to like cover up the sun. So it's cool, it happens every like five years, like I said, so it's kind of just fun to like take a break and enjoy the weird things that happen in life. This is something that we all don't get to see. You know? And that's why we're here. We plan, they plan trips, we plan vacations here, bring the kids here for spring break, yes. Memories from your 
I have memories from my childhood of seeing Eclipse and it sticks out as one of the greatest memories of my life. Actually, it encouraged me to become a science teacher and so we're really excited. I want people to know that this is a big event. We won't have another one of these for 20 years. So it's great for all of us to come out and experience this eclipse and see um, what an incredible solar system we live in. The squirrel's whiskers. <laughs> okay. Squirrel's hungry. He's eating that. It looks like a. It is. It is bigger. You can the see. piece out of there just. around the upper half of their body, a uh, round half body costume uh, with sun rays complete. They also had to make sure they wore yellow, black, or white trousers, pants, and then they had to make sure they had appropriate footwear. We have some numbers. Would you like to know who and how many participated? I'll leave that. <laughs> the, uh, uh, as a reminder, the number to beat was 287 that was set by China Life Insurance Company Limited Guan Don Branch in China on December 20th 2020. I can tell the city of Niagara Falls, Ontario. Drum roll! Drum roll! That you have 